Uh, today I just want to quickly show you uh, this really cool add-on by Ulik. It's a Blender Python script. Um, it's called Point Cloud Visualizer. And this is available for Blender 2.7 and 2.8. For 2.7x, uh, it has less features. But, and 2.8 is a lot faster, but both has uh, kind of it's uh, interesting anyway, uh, the way it works. So I want to show you how to use this and I, I also will show you how you can kind of hack it using Spreadtalk add-on so you can animate the, the point cloud. So let's say you, you already scan, uh, you use 3D scanner and create, you have point cloud data in form of PLY. You can easily load it once you install the add-on so the add-on looks like something like this 3d view point cloud visualizer by jacob ulik and once you have that installed if you restart if i restart blender i think you still have the point cloud being drawn but uh, i'll just create an empty any objects will actually work and once you have the object selected you can see there's this uh, point cloud visualizer. Um, it will allow you to load the PLY because normally if you just load it <clears throat> into Blender, it's not gonna work. You're just gonna see like a bunch of points. Um, so I have this Ganesha stereo being already being scanned. If I load the points, it's looking something like this. It's kind of rotated wrongly, so RX90 rotate it in X90 degree, and there you go. This is my 3D scan. <clears throat> I use uh, iPhone 10 to do the scanning, and using a custom app uh, by the developer of Hegas app. You can request this custom app, uh, but he, I think he's developing the app into a full app. So this is the result, right? It's really quite simple. Now you have the point cloud. You can you can play around with the way it's being drawn, and you can smooth it. Um, with Blender two point seven nine, you can actually have multiple of this. So you can have two point cloud loaded and rotate it, and you can display it differently smoothie etc i think this is kind of cool uh one thing to to know is that you you can have this point cloud but and it's just displayed nicely in blender you can render it out but you can't really access the data unless you perhaps um, play around with the code itself uh, i talked with ulik a little bit um, i'm kind of hoping that this data can be exposed into Blender. So we can use like uh, BPY or our own Python to get into the data of the point cloud. So at some point, maybe we can erase uh, the data that we don't need. Um, that's probably possible. He asked me uh, to just look at the, the class data and make a modifications. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Um, with my point cloud scanning, this is actually, like I said, taken using iPhone 10, and this is like 30 frame per second, and this is almost one gigabyte of data. Um, if I'm using the, the 2.8 versions of this uh, add-on, I can actually load it as animations, and it is really fast. This is like running in real time. So I'm moving around my iPhone around this sculpture of Ganesha. And yeah, this is the result, basically. It's pretty cool. Uh, and you have these options to display it as at 100%. There's a lot of points. And also changing the size of the, the points. It's looking pretty cool like this, like a hologram. It's almost like a, like a Star Wars hologram of Princess Leia, and imagine having this as AR or VR experience. It's pretty cool.
Um, okay, now in Blender, it's working fine. I mean, this is just a quick hack because as you can see, it sometimes it doesn't get drawn, but I can, I need to click on that. Um, you can render this out using, uh, you set up the camera and then once you have the camera, you can render it out using these options. Um, and it will render the animation. I just hit the animations and now it's rendering and Blender is frozen. It's not frozen, it's rendering in the background basically. But if I open another Blender and let's see. I want to show you how I set, set this up using um, Sweatshop. Draw, okay, it's cool, it's working. It's basically using the the ops, the operators of the add-on. Like I said, this is a quick, kind of like a quick hack. The code could be better, but this is this is the code basically. So there's a import PPY, get into the directory, and inside the directory there should be a file name. The file name is in this format, but I want to be able to change the frame number, uh, the frame of the the file, so it goes through the sequence of the PLY. And this is the ops. So with the code that using ops, we need to worry about the area, uh, the context where it is working. I often get that confused in Blender, but uh, if you are in the right context, like if, if the mouse cursor is over here and I play back and it's working fine because Spare Job is using the, the ops and then it's kind of happy with it and it just simply run it. But if I start to moving around the cursor somewhere else uh, and it's the code probably doesn't like it anymore. It's gonna stop working, but it's it's fine in this case. Uh, it's, it didn't change the context. So inside Spare Job, I already only have the the frame info and exec node model mode. Oh, so this node is really cool. I simply copy all the code here, and this code, of course, is just erasing the point cloud. Reload it using the the file path that we specify and then redraw it. So it's doing erase and then draw while changing the this line over here. Um, yeah, this node is doing the whole thing. And the only thing that I need to, to understand is the this line over here, this one, frame V1, with a with a zero and zero. This is like like a list of Spare Job use a list. If you plug in a data into this guy, it's expecting a list, but this guy is not a list. It's just a single value. So I'm using this to get into the index value of the list. That's pretty much it. Everything else, everything else will do the job. So that's a quick hack uh, of point cloud visualizer by Ulik using Spreadshop. Um, yeah, if you know Python a little bit better, you know BPY, maybe you can go inside the point cloud visualizer and then make changes to the class or maybe even turn it into a node. Uh, maybe at some point Spreadshop developer can help with this, but I think this is a really cool add-on and it, it really works. So once we are able to get into the data and then erase the points we don't want, maybe merging even some point cloud, perhaps you can export it as LMB. So that's hopefully what we can do in the near future. Uh, let, me, let me know what you think. And so yeah, um, maybe one day we can have a proper import point cloud for viewer and for editing and also uh, for other things, you know, if we can do that, it will be cool. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.